South Dakota is known for its tourist sites, such as the iconic Mount Rushmore and the scenic Badlands. The days are filled with people enjoying the beauty. But after dark, a whole new world is revealed, one full of animals roaming the grasslands. Here on the prairie floor, one animal is struggling to survive. That is the black-footed ferret. We're in the Kanata Basin of uh, Buffalo Gap National Grassland, and we are trying to recover a highly endangered species called the black-footed ferret. It was almost um, extinct at one time. It got down to as few as 18 animals. The ferret is a native species that, um, you know, historically was found basically wherever prairie dogs were found. Sylvatic plague entered the ecosystem here and has had a dramatic effect on both the, the prairie dog, which is the prey of the blackwood ferret, and the ferret itself, which is highly susceptible to the disease. So this time of year we do our monitoring and we are live trapping the animals and vaccinating them against like a couple of diseases, plague and canine distemper, and trying to get a population estimate. These ferrets can be elusive. They are nocturnal, so you have to find them at night. Randy Griebel's team of biologists and researchers plan their night's mission to capture as many ferrets as they can in an effort to keep them healthy. You're going to trail in the usual spot over here? Yeah, I'll put in the usual spot. We're driving through our plot that we're going to survey. We're looking for that really emerald green eye shine, which is a black-footed ferret. Once we see it, we'll move pretty rapidly up to the spot where the we saw the shine and uh, get the trap into the burrow and hopefully get the animal trapped up to do some uh, work on it. Uh, right, there's one right there. All right, so we're gonna go out there. Sometimes they'll just sit in the burrow entrance. And you can look down and you can just see them staring at you. GPS this thing and then we'll keep chugging away. I'm just getting the data sheet filled out, uh, getting the start time here. It looks like 22.30 and uh, I'm gonna get ready to go here. And then if we catch one, what we'll do is we'll put the, the time, or if we see one, the time we saw it, the reflector number, then we put the grid coordinate, the easting and northing, and then however many traps or plugs we stick out uh, to try to trap the animal up. So the search continues. More spotlighting, more sightings, and more traps being set. But will they actually capture any ferrets tonight? All right, so now we're coming up on the first trap we set. And what we're going to do is we'll uh, stop in and check it out, see if anything's trapped up in it. Once Randy has a ferret in a trap, he has to determine if it has been captured before. When ferrets are caught the first time, they receive a medical examination and a microchip with an individual tracking number is inserted under their fur. If no chip is found, Randy puts the animal in a protective tube and delivers it to the medical trailer, where Travis Laveri from Prairie Wildlife Research will anesthetize the animal so he can examine it, vaccinate it against distemper and plague, and give it a penicillin shot. When the medical procedures are completed, Randy will return the ferret safely to the prairie. We're gonna just drive through and continue to survey, work our way back towards where we trapped him up and then we will uh, release him in the same burrow we trapped him. If a ferret has a microchip, Randy will radio Travis back at the medical trailer and give him the animal's tracking number to see if it needs a booster shot. If it does, Travis will drive out and give the ferret a shot while it is still in the cage. Then it is released back into the same burrow it came from. If the ferret does not need a shot, Randy will mark it with a red marker to show no shots are needed if it is captured again and then it's released. Another long night's work is done, but there is still more to do to help protect these endangered animals. I think the most important thing people can do to help save black-footed ferrets is get educated. Find out about this species, go visit websites like ours, www.prairiewildlife.org, and others out there to find out more about this species, what threats they face, 
and start talking to people about black-footed ferrets, about healthy prairies, and why they should care. So I say get educated. Find out what's going on on your public lands and what's going on with your wildlife.